don't forget about that but we got grand files coming right up we are just about to start yeah i'm really looking forward to it we've got george mason up against hcc like we were saying beforehand hcc will be loading on into the blue side with george mason on the orange it'll be a good matchup here best of seven if mason wins out this best of seven we do have a very fun bracket reset coming on in because they are from the losers bracket earlier on as well we saw george mason or rather sorry hcc went out 3-1 over top of George Mason. The only George Mason win was a 4-0 though. So they do have it in them to really control these games and kick HCC out of it. But still, HCC did win that series and that's why they've made their way here with only needing to win this one series compared to the two that Mason will need to win out grand finals for. Yeah, and you know, a, uh, a best of seven means that we could theoretically be seeing as many as uh, 14 games over the next uh, little bit here if it goes uh, game for game all the way down the line. But we'll see how this actually ends up playing out here. It is uh, already looking like some some much more savage Rocket League than we've been seeing today, which is appropriate given that this is for the number one spot. I mean, both teams are going to be playing their hearts out to secure this victory. Yeah, they're definitely getting really solid and really aggressive here on both sides. GMU coming off of being freshly played at least as HCC did have to sit for quite a while. I think over an hour or two, but that's not going to stop Arrow. Right off the top cross from Noble is going to be his score off of himself actually for that goal. Really well done by Arrow to control that ball and put HCC up here 1-0 pretty early on. Yeah, that's something you got to worry about sometimes when you got a long time between your sets is uh, getting getting iced out a little bit with that long period of time, but Arrow instead showing that he has remained frosty and ready to play. Yeah, definitely so. And uh, it's in general, it's just looking really good. For both these teams on the defense for the most part other than that one shot by arrow both these teams are still ready to play all things considered and uh i mean it's just style oh, great wow. passing from hcc that was really well set up in just even better defensive work for gmu to be ready to deny that lightning quick offenses here lightning quick passing game to set up these shots there is no room for error in grand finals yeah absolutely none so two and a half just about we're about halfway to the games uh midway point here in game one of this best of seven as now it's back in the control of george mason but quickly centered on for gm or sorry for hcc and Logs is going to be the one to strike next for his team. 2-0 goes the scoreline for HCC off a great redirect from Logs and Trees here. Yeah, and this is a repeat of uh, the winner's finals match that we saw where Howard Community College nearly took the 3-0 sweep uh, only by mercy of a, a very solid performance by GMU where they uh, down a game. But it looks like, wow, another one. They uh, have come back and are looking to just take the clean sweep here in Grands. They are holding nothing back. Yeah, absolutely crazy how fast-paced that uh, HCC is is keeping up the speed of, excuse me, the tempo of this game. So, 3-0 already, two minutes to go. They are not stopping up at all. Uh, this is a very fast-paced HCC team right now. At least GMU will strike back one more here. Wow. All right, GMU striking back, keeping themselves in this game. They still got a little bit of a ways to make the comeback here, but this is by no means going to be a blowout. Yeah, not at all going to be a blowout. At least not a shutout. But Ooh. that's not going to stop HCC from continuing their streak. They are up now 4-1 to one here so far. They are looking very solid and very dominant in this game. 
even missing just a little bit on the kickoff here is going to punish these teams. I mean, these points are coming quick and frequent. Any little slip up is getting punished with a, uh, a point against the opposing team. Or against them. Yeah. It is looking pretty punishing so far from HTC. They're playing very strong, very comfortably in this opening two or uh, opening match so far. So we'll get to see uh, if they can keep this up, especially going into further games. And instead, if George Mason can find any foothold here, there's good setup, but it's just constantly being denied here by the members of HCC and instead being taken for their own setup. A very close shot by Logs yet again, looking for his third on the match or on the game so far. It'll be a narrow away. save. Yeah, very narrow. JK taking control of the ball momentarily, but been a back and forth uh, war of attrition here. JK finds the gap, sends it through. Arrow's going to have to take it off of the corner there. And we're going to be playing out of the pocket on Howard's side here for just a minute. JK trying to send it over, but... Even though they're not able to make these goals, they're keeping this offensive pressure up. But with Titanium on zero boost, that might be what breaks this offensive line just a little bit. Having to uh, reorganize. Oh, as I said, instead, though, JK takes a pretty savage shot off onto the crossbar there. Doesn't quite manage to take it, but Arrow now in control, sending it right back down the field. And now uh, Howard is back in position to try to make this shot and extend, expand their lead by another point. 5-1, 21-second mark. That is uh, pretty much done and dusted for game one. The last 20 seconds here are going to be uh, not much more than a formality and a little extra time for GMU Patriots to uh, consider what they want to do differently for game two here. Yeah, if 4-1 wasn't enough of a uh, kind of dead ball set, 5-1 uh, is enough for George Mason to understand, yeah, this one's out of our reach. And still, even then, HCC is not letting up Logs with another shot close to goal. Now Arrow trying to fire one off. It is looking like uh, pretty solidly G uh, HCC will be leading this one 1-0. One but what a statement game to start this one off with. 1-0, 5-1 on the game so far. And HCC looks great to start things off. Uh a 5-1 game one sends a statement indeed, and that is that Howard CC is going to be your MAEC grand finalist. However, they got to keep that narrative running for at least another three games for that to be the case. They're off to a strong start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very strong indeed as we're waiting for Mr. Logs and Trees to uh, load himself on into this next match or this next game here of this grand finals match and uh i mean this has been a very interesting and, and very crazy first game to be sure yeah uh, but definitely a strong showing out of the gate for howard cc they are showing why they are on top of the bracket why they are on top of the scoreboard with that first game and they are looking to maintain that throughout the rest of this set logs and trees going to interrupt that possession there send it right back in but uh, still, ball position is going to advance down the field just a little bit. Howard still mostly in control of the situation at the moment, though, but not able to make a whole lot of ground offensively either. Yeah. We'll get to see now as it continues. The pressure from HCC is uh, kind of being peeled back a bit. They are working through George Mason's own aggression, but now... In comes HCC. They are starting to work forward very slowly and uh, really just come alive yet again. Granted, George Mason is doing just the same, but a missed aerial from Titanium is pretty big there. And another one by Dev. Interesting timings coming off from George Mason here on these aerial shots because these are potentially missed offensive opportunities for them. Yeah, we are seeing a little bit of maybe offensive overcommitment here coming out from uh, GMU here trying to make these shots. Uh, two people going at a time to make them. I mean, you're doubling up the pressure on the ball in that moment, but once that shot is out of the way, there's only one person back, and it's uh, they, they can't immediately move forward to make another shot without risking getting scored on. That said, 
them stepping that offense up and so far not leaving any gaps has given them a lot of pressure without paying a whole lot for it, but they nearly paid for it there with Arrow taking that air dribble up the center of the field. Yeah, so far. <clears throat> We're getting to see more control from George Mason, and it pays off in the end. Dev putting one on into the net. The constantly applied pressure from George Mason works out. Logs not even going up for that save. It's 1-0 Mason here to start things off. In, uh... And that was an excellent rebound. There's a couple of double commits there on George Mason's side earlier on that nearly got them scored on, but they recovered from that situation, got the ball back into an offensive position, and then were able to score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very fast-paced here in this final. This is a constant aggression from both of these sides. It's just, it's not letting up. And this is something that we saw from George Mason in their Shenandoah game. They were not letting up at all disrupting plays. They were, uh, excuse me, they were constantly applying pressure and always around the ball, not letting Shenandoah create any opportunity. And they're doing it finally here in game two. They weren't doing that in game one for whatever reason it may be. But now in game two, Things are looking better for them. And they're disrupting well here on HCC's final, what feels like final first offensive. Yeah, and, and Howard Community College, for as many points and as, as vicious as their offense looked game one, are struggling to put a point on the board here in the game two. Uh, I think that's in part just due to uh, GMU stepping up that pressure just a little bit. But Logs and Trees is slowly making it down the field. Dev going to interrupt that play with the double demo. JK trying to follow up and make the shot to score the point there, but some solid goalkeeping coming out from HCC. Yeah, solid goalkeeping indeed as George Mason is looking to secure this shutout here, not giving HCC any opportunity to get things rolling for themselves. A missed aerial as well from Arrow there is going to spell another offensive try, but a great recovery on the defense for Arrow himself is going to save that goal as well. Now Logs trying to get something going for his team, missing out on this ball. Finally going to send it spinning towards yeah. George Mason. And I think, I mean, with this minute left, this game has been so heavily Mason favored. Oh, but as you say that, as you Ow. say that, Noble says Mason favored. Let me show you Mason favor favored. Whew. That's pretty. What an angle. What an angle to direct that shot right up the center. Even this game up and uh, we're in that situation now. You know, GMU Patriots just needed to keep the ball alive up until now. But now they got to score one more point if they want to take this game too. Yeah. Wow. wow. Almost, but the recovery shot from Titanium is what sends it in. Two to one here for George Mason. 38 seconds to go. Goes in the go-ahead. The rest of HCC was nowhere to be found with Arrow defending as much as he could. Now, that could, you know, whatever recovery effort came in for HCC is now having to be redoubled again. Yeah, Arrow did everything that could be expected in that goal box. There was not a whole lot one man could do. But GMU is just uh, prepared to deal with more than one defender. Wow. And Noble, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> we, nothing can be taken for granted here in this grand finals. Nothing that's, can be assumed. Crazy. That was such a crazy little tap pass from Logs there. Just... What an insane group of, of shots and passes from these two teams. And they are both firing on all cylinders at this point, ready to go as we are eyeballing the last 10 seconds of heading to overtime. Potentially, this arrow is going to try and keep the ball away from George Mason. Another air ball comes right back to earth. And we are into overtime for game two, tied at two. Pretty fitting that uh, everything went out this way. And all of a sudden, with the game getting this close, the demos come out. The, the brutality 
right. begins to appear. Pol there, there's no room for being polite anymore. No, 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 no. There's, there's money on the line here. There will be no politeness. There will only be Rocket League. Yeah. So if I gotta far, demo you to get this goal, I'm demoing you to get this goal. Yeah. I'm liking that that play style that both these teams are taking. As uh, Logs is gonna miss out on the block, but true what? off the crossbar. Don't try for three. It's Titanium to get the goal. One dinks off. Two just a little less. Titanium's gonna say, guys, bring down the angle. One one <laughs> goes our series. The three-man play to finish up the overtime. That is one of those scary, scary moments where you know you've got that set up, but it's going to have to be a three-man play. And you know you make that mistake. You're now fairly committed, and you're not necessarily guaranteed to get score on if you don't make that goal, but you have put yourself in a very difficult spot if you don't clean up. But GMU Patriots with the courage to follow through with the play regardless believing in themselves to take that goal and take game two. And they are off to it. Uh, they, they're up to evening up this set here and showing Howard uh, CC that this is not a done deal. This is still going to be, uh, this is going to be a rough ride. Yeah, very tough, very close game already. 1-1 in this best of seven here as now HCC is going to redouble their efforts of aggression here trying to start things off early on in this series or this game compared to uh losing out early on in the last now same thing though for george mason both sides actually are just hard focused on these aerials something that we saw mason control heavily in their shenandoah game and not so much in their hc game or hcc game we'll get to see who can really take control of these air balls because uh it's seeming pretty solidly that both teams are just controlling them in each other's space yeah there's so much so many contests being made for aerial control of the ball here uh we've been seeing lots of high bounces of the spike though threatening the goal it's not gonna happen hcc on point with the defense but did not break gmu's offensive line there's still going to be shots on goal being taken here jk keeping that in position logs and trees the great challenge though sending it right past this could be gmu patriots moment yeah could very well be but it will not just yet they're going to try and redouble and go back onto the offensive here with a backboard shot from titanium but it's quickly shot away by arrow denied very quickly on as now arrow setting one up for logs trying to get the second but no logs only one shot able to connect now trying to keep working is hcc they're in george mason's zone here their side of the field but nothing is coming of it logs trying to set something up off the backboard and the rest of hcc is not really in any position to find it and it's just great de gold minding defensiveness from Dev and Titanium until Noble takes that one on down. That was just absolutely suffocating. HCC settling like a blanket over the entirety of GMU's field there. Just shot after shot, no room to breathe, no room to think. Oh, but GMU firing right back off the kickoff to even the score back up. Titanium breaking away with it. Dev sends it past. They, they missed the kickoff almost entirely. Titanium gets that one good touch to fake out the last remaining defender, and then it is a straight shot on goal from there. We're right back to an even game. Yeah, very quickly evening things up, and, and this is just something we've seen both ways because uh, yeah, it is just, I mean... GMU evened things up very quickly, and in, in game two, things were evened up back and forth in that last minute so fast. So, halfway mark eclipsed now in this game. HCC is trying to get something going again on offense, but it seems just very dominantly in George Mason's control here. 
Yeah, the George Mason has been really taking control of this game here. They, they want to take control of this set early because they know they got to push through and make not just the best of seven here, but also the bracket reset if they want that coveted number one spot. But they're making a strong argument for it right now. Mm -hmm. Well, off the wall, Titanium in position. That's going to be another clean goal by the books here. JK, look at that. On the wall, ready for the receive. Boosted around the defender. Then Titanium had to do not much more than just get a couple of tires on the ball there. Correct that angle just a little bit. And that's going to be a one-point lead for GMU. Yeah, George Mason really eyeballing this bracket reset. Really trying to bring this one back for themselves. But the game's still far from over. The series is still far from over as Noble trying to find something. The demo on the logs is going to deny really a lot of offensive rotation play. And that's going to force HCC back onto the defensive, trying to play around their key main defender in logs here. As just the, the stifling defensive, you know, this just obnoxious poke and prod from uh, George Mason has been doing great work for them here as they are disrupting any play that uh, HCC is trying to set up. Oh, but we are seeing how RCC start to lean into that very aerial-oriented game. We've seen them uh, kind of lean into a little bit over the last couple of games we saw with them where they are uh, just not letting the ball towards the ground while they're maintaining control. And ultimately, still not paying off for them, though. GMU able to wrestle back and control the ball. JK finds it the moment they drop it back down to the ground, and boom. A solid shot right off on goal. Goalkeeping being contested up the field there by Dev to assist with that. And another point on the board and a little bit more solid a lead for GNU Patriots here. Yeah, more of a lead. It continues to grow and grow for them. As 3-1 uh, goes the scoreline, trying to find the second game for themselves. Log trying to save whatever he can in terms of offense but it's just not enough. There's not really a lot of offensive, excuse me, not, not a lot of offensive presence for HCC in this second and third game outside of the small burst at the end of game two. And it's just, I mean, again, George Mason is doing very well to stop any rotation play and, and really deny HCC any opportunity to build momentum in these games. Yeah, they are trying to not let HEC build up that offensive line and start taking those repeated shots, that pressure we've been seeing them pull out earlier in the bracket by just continuing to contest that ball and continuing to just try to interrupt that possession at any opportunity. They are keeping uh, keeping HTC in check here a little bit, and they now have the one-point lead here in the set, which makes the first time they've been able to maintain the lead over uh, – HCC at least uh, during the playoffs here. I'm not sure about the uh, the 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 uh, season, but it's the first time having a one game lead here. If they can pull off two more, they can get that bracket reset. But it, you know that HCC is going to fight them every step of the way. Yeah, definitely looking to keep it rolling in this series, two to one in favor of George Mason. But HCC wants to bite back and really just continue the dominance they showed in that winner's finals. They were so on par in it, and a good stop from JK off to the side is going to allow Dev to sneak that goal on in. JK body blocking the goalie there for just a second, and that'll start us off with another early goal for George Mason here. And Dev caught HCC completely by surprise there. there there was nothing in their position that anticipated that shot being returned let alone at the net those are uh, little gaps in the cognition that hcc is going to have to work on i think because gmu is uh getting more and more lethal by the minute mm -hmm. yeah very much so we'll get to see though how this keeps continuing because uh george mason is is just like you said, they are getting more lethal. They are continuing this pressure and 
getting harder to beat and they are not letting up one bit logs is gonna have to get that save off the respawn just barely but a second shot coming in almost immediately right back things are just the pressure is not letting up from george mason hcc has not had a good recovery for it yeah they're they just haven't i feel like they've been on the back foot pretty much this entire game three it just haven't really been able to get their bearings and really get back down the field with the ball not for any extended period of time and in the meantime gmu seems to be uh ready for just about anything that can be thrown their way. Look at that shot off the ceiling from Titanium. Even though it was blocked, it got sent right back up towards JK, right back up towards Dev. HCC still took, uh, you know, three separate touches to get that past that line, and they still haven't broken the midfield. Yeah, definitely going to be tough going for HCC to try and recover from this. They are just constantly in their own zone, in their own corners progressively just getting beaten back closer and closer to their goal and this third game especially it's been fantastic Ooh. aerial play from the side of george mason one of their key strengths in 3-0ing shenandoah in the losers finals so they're doing very well to control the airspace and control a lot of uh george sorry hcc's moves before they even make them just yet and uh, it's causing clear frustration from HCC. Logs is all on his lonesome here in George Mason's own zone because of a demolition as well. Something I want I want you, uh, the viewers at home, to be keeping track of here with this game too is uh, GMU's offense has been so efficient here. Look at the amount of times they take a shot where multiple defenders end up having to go for it, either because someone uh, whiffs the ball on the first defense or two people just can't take that chance and they both go up for it to make sure the ball gets covered. Every time that happens, I mean, you got one person who's got to rotate back on the offense, but two people that had to make a play on the, uh, on the defense that now are not in position for a follow-up shot. That kind of efficiency is what scores goals, and you're seeing it consistently. We may not have seen as many goals successfully come through but that first step has been replicated time and time again on GMU's side. That said, Howard County Community uh, HCC is starting to bring it back. Howard County Community College is uh, really starting to make that exact same uh, calculus happen on their end here on the offense. But they just cannot seem to sink the shot. Yeah, and they're struggling for sure as Logs is kind of launched out there. Almost the first shot, but a second save from Dev denies any rebound opportunity arrow with an early save right back is going to keep things going for hcc they had some solid pressure building up in uh gmu zone but now there's not as much left dev and logs both going up for this ball to try and pressure it back for hcc to build something off of an arrow will be the one to tie it with a little tap on in 1-1 one, one with 40 seconds to go. This is a big goal for Arrow to have scored, and it will definitely help boost HCC going forward in the remaining seconds of this game. Four. Yeah, this could definitely be where GMU starts to lose control of this game and lose control of this set, or Titanium could just make a monster of a shot off of the kickoff. We get the explosion, we get the streamers, we get the balloons. GMU is... Uh, <laughs> ready to celebrate this win already 37 seconds left they can hold on to this lead for just a little bit they can uh threaten match point from here on in the set yeah that idea that you have to you know win or else uh the the bracket gets dropped again and you have to play through another best of seven is just tough to deal with mentally two crossbar shots and a third just off to the side for georgia mason will at least deny a third goal from them but there's still just no offensive presence great airplay from george mason has been shutting down any offense from the side of hcc this air ball is not going to be staying up for very long as uh, it just hits the ground gmu will go up 3-1 coming from the loser's bracket forcing at least a game or forcing a game seven if Howard doesn't want a bracket reset win look 
I'll be honest, going into this set, I don't think I believed. I was pretty sure this was going to be Howard CC's Grand Finals pretty pretty uh, convincingly. I can see now that, uh, you know, of course, I'm not allowed to say that loud. I'm, I'm a commentator. I can't be biased. But I can see now that I am definitely, uh, I, I may have been uh, a bit low on faith. Uh, the uh, the reality here is starting to shape up, and it's starting to look real good for GMU Patriots. Yeah, they're looking really comfortable here and ready to go. And you know, there there's no sign of stopping. It feels like they really just kept the pressure on all of last game, and uh, they're they they've been rewarded. They're they're up three one off a shaky game one where I thought that HCC was going to continue their pressure, but clearly it's George Mason's game all the way through and through. They want this to come down to that reset, to that second time, winner takes all, best of seven, and they just really are, are vying to come back from this and, and really rock through it. So that being said, the ball is back in HCC's side of the field as it has been for so long and eight and George Mason is not continuing, not letting up from the pressure. Not at all, but it has been back and forth so far this game. Logs and trees in position, trying to wait for that ball to drop, but it's going to be swatted away by GMU. Nubel, Shadow ready to, to make the layup there if needed, but instead JK is going to maintain, uh, grab control and sneak away with it all the way downfield, Nubel. With the clear, can Dev send it back? Just barely passed. Yeah, definitely just taking their time here and, and very much contesting every air ball, every shot coming. Wow! That's a huge dead ball there. That How did Titanium nothing. kill that on the wall so effectively? From that angle with that, that amount of air roll, I'm beyond yeah. impressed. That was a crazy kill on that ball for sure. And I'm I'm astounded by it, and it's just showing like the level of play and, and mindfulness that George Mason is still playing this series at this late on. They are keeping up their mindfulness, their pressure, and and consistency, and they are playing probably some of their best Rocket League of all of the entire day. Yep, Arrow is going to send it up. This is an opportunity here for Dragons to take a shot, but JK is going to clear it first. Logs and Trees deciding on the play from here, trying to keep control. Dev challenging 50-50 right through. But Arrow ultimately ends up with control of it again. It's going to be off the crossbar. Can Dragons take the score off of this? Not quite. Excellent clearing from JK, too, having boost in the tank. To just be able to to gas away that ball from anywhere near the goal any opportunity for hcc to just get anything not even a goal just a shot on and it's completely denied by great mindfulness on the goaltending a missed aerial by noble is going to come in as now a second shot from titanium is denied away by the defense of hcc at least Logs is trying to make something happen, but Titanium from out of nowhere seemingly is just there to defend, and so is JK. The defense on this GMU team is insane in this fifth game here, and they are just constantly not letting HCC get a single point of anything. Man, and there's so many near misses that have come out in the past you know, two minutes or so, but nothing that has actually sunk. GMU, another narrow shot on goal, but it's going to be just a little bit off center. Dev with the follow up, but Logs and Trees going to send it back into that corner. And the pressure seems to be rapidly oscillating from side to side here. Oh, wait, hold on. Noble with the redirect takes the shot. There can only be so many near misses before something finally hits home, and it's going to be Noble. Look at that aerial. Air roll the whole way, perfectly in position to redirect it off the backboard. That double tap is going to give Howard CC the 1-0 lead here. And probably the way this game has been going, uh, a, a pretty strong shot at bringing the set count to 2-3. Yeah, definitely trying their best here. But we've seen every time 
HCC has scored a goal. George Mason is a bit back rapidly here in this set so far. Now it is instead Noble yet again. Air dominance from him in this last minute or so has enabled a 2-0 lead for HCC. Doing very well on this fifth game to try and keep the dream alive of winning this here and now. Yeah, how are CC not leaving that immediate counterattack, that immediate repeat score on the board like we've seen happen so many times today? Instead, controlling that kickoff situation, playing it out, and even able to stack another point on the board here. Noble with a very, very near miss. He always oh, going up for it. Logs and trees going to kind of intercept his teammate just a little bit there, but they just need to keep the ball in play and keep it out of any particular net. It really doesn't matter if they score here or not. Of course, Logs and Trees going to make a shot at it anyways. <laughs> Multiple shots just to try to, to bring that shot count up just a little bit, a score just a little bit for this game too here. A little icing on the cake going to the rest of the set, but it ultimately not going to pay off. Howard CC though, still taking that game to make the set count 2-3. Yeah, 2-3 with a 2-0 shutout. Considering that Howard seemingly couldn't find any way past George Mason, nor could they find any way to stop GMU's offense, they do just that both, both or rather both of those, in fact. They are able to stop and score past this GMU team. So, a tough start for HCC, but... They are able to continue things down two to three now. Two more games max to go. And I'm sure George Mason is going to come back with a vengeance to end this one here. And here's a little fun fact to think about here. There's this little concept called stamina. Uh, even the best players, man, they can only maintain that level of play for so long. At this point, hold on. We don't have time to be talking about that. There ain't no time for stamina. JK taken off in a sprint off the start of game six to score that first point and give GMU that one point lead. Wow. All right. Maybe maybe it's a little early to be talking about stamina. What I was going to say, though, is at this point, game six, we have played more games in this set than any other set tonight because every other set has been a best of five. The longest they can go is five games. We're now game six, and we still got to play. And if... GMU Patriots is able to make that bracket reset happen, like is looking like might be the case off the start of this game one. We're looking at a whole lot more games to go. So there, there's going to be uh, there's going to be some attrition happening here. You're going to start seeing the mistakes start to pile up just on for no other reason. The fact that how long these players will have had to play consecutively at that point. Yeah. The other thing too is, you know, if HCC is able to win this out, uh, That'll be to game seven, right? Game seven, seven games is as many games in this one series as George Mason played in two against HCC and Shenandoah. They played, they went 3-1 with, with HCC and 3-0 Shenandoah. So to play seven games against the same team and then potentially have to run it all back again, that can be exhausting for any player. And Titanium is still saying, bring it on. 2-0 now as they continue to roll it up on the scoreboard in this game six. They're now three and a half minutes away from a bracket reset, and HCC has to keep things going. Yeah, at this point, if you're HCC, you got to be putting everything into this one because, oh, and, and, speaking of putting everything into it, Arrow firing back right off the kickoff. Look at that beautiful shot. Receives the kickoff right back to his corner. Takes off after it. Lines it up. Easy peasy. All right. Only maintaining the one-point lead then. This could still go either direction. This is looking like it was in a solid spot for GMU until that moment. Oh, don't do it again. There's no way you do it again, right? <laughs> no, oh, not looking like it. It was looking close for a minute. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. As I was saying, it. you pull out all the stops. You pull out all the stops right now because if you can just muscle up enough effort to keep this bracket reset from happening, you can save yourself a lot of stress tonight. But Dev is laying on the pressure. Yeah, 3-1 now with three minutes to go. Granted, we've seen bigger comebacks from uh, less time. I mean, granted, we saw 
Hey, sh or, uh, <laughs> Shenandoah come back down 0-3 with a minute and 45 to go. So, you know, we've, we've seen insanity. bigger comebacks from less time, but HCC is just being locked out and boxed out of any offensive presence, like I keep saying. George Mason has been doing fantastic on the defensive side of the ball, and they are just locking everything down. Noble not able to get anything on the aerial, rather those logs and trees, but still, it's just shutting out HCC for hard here. Ooh! Oh! Midi semi. Oh my! Titanium with the bank shot off of a car from how? Who was it? Off of Howard CC directly into the goal. What a shot! You gotta wonder if that was was serendipity or intention. But in either case, it is a goal. A beautiful shot, and now three-one with two minutes to go. This is this is the moment where yeah, HCC has really got to turn up the heat here if they want this game. Otherwise, you're looking at that bracket reset. You're looking at a whole new best of seven. Yeah, definitely a bit daunting to say the least here. I are staring down this best of seven. But let me uh, this best of seven. Let me ask you something here, Cherish. You remember that uh, remember that concept I was telling you about a little while ago? Uh, called stamina. Remember, I was saying that the uh, the mistakes start to pile up once you play consecutively for so long. Yeah. Do you think that's got any uh, any correlation to the pure number of points being scored this game <laughs> on both sides of the field? I definitely uh, I definitely think you can't rule it out. Um, but I, I I mean this is our highest scoring game so far. Four to six or four to two. Excuse oh. me. Coming out here is another near shot landing, but instead it is just. George Mason back on control, bouncing things back and forth and back and forth. Logs and trees just made the most elegant return I've seen in my life. I mean, just full speed catching that off the corner and then sending it right back out. That was just efficient. I'll look at Titanium go with the dribble, but Arrow is going to shut that down right there. No, sir, we are not having that kind of fancy nonsense on my goalpost. Or are we? Dev just reestablishes control and uh, gets gets it off the wall there on the other side of the ball and just a little bit of boost to finish it off. Three goals in one and one minute twelve. So we are uh, perhaps um, struggling a bit when it comes to this game for HCC. Well, as I say that. Bigger leads have come from smaller def or bigger def yeah bigger comebacks have come from smaller times. So minute and seven, two minute two goals separating these two teams. We are looking forward towards this last game. I tell you what, when you're kicking off against Howard CC, you have got to kick off correct because they have made uh, so many goals just this set alone off of the kickoff and so many more off the course of their bracket today uh you really cannot afford to slack on that kickoff one bit where they will take you to task for it yeah definitely looking for it so that being said though there's a bit of a hurry and a bit of a pep in the step here for hcc as they're trying to maintain their offensive pressure again titanium though is shutting things down our first hat trick of this best of seven comes in game six and it's to put gmu up six three titanium's titanium is listening to this commentary right now did i hear offensive pressure yeah I, I can do that i can show you some offensive pressure boom there's another one. Oh, look at logs and trees though with that re with that return where does it you how do you even know at that point when you're about to pinch it off the other teams have to pinch it off the ceiling like how do you even know where to go at that point you just gotta sit there and watch and hope it's going your way yeah, so that being said, though, five seconds to go. The clock is ticking down. Things are dire for HCC. They are grim as we're basically playing ping pong at this point, not Rocket League. But that being said, series win goes the way of George Mason. Four to two as they have busted the bracket. They will be sending us to a brand new best of seven 
coming out of the loser's bracket, and they are ready and raring to go to continue uh, their winning ways here. And I will, uh, I will repeat what I said earlier in that, you know, I will admit uh, in my my private innermost thoughts i i didn't think that this bracket reset was going to happen going into the set i was like yeah i think it'll probably you know in my head i was thinking it'll probably be you know like uh, you know, at least you know two wins on the board for gmu uh before it happens but i was pretty set in uh my belief that this bracket reset was not going to be a possibility i have been proven wrong here on the maec broadcast today we are going to the bracket reset in the best of seven. So you know what you know, Cherish. You know what's better than than great Grand Finals Rocket League? Double Grand Finals. Another set of Another great Grand Finals. Grand Finals. League. <laughs> Here we go. Game one of the bracket reset. It is all on the line. Yeah, and already HCC is trying to figure out some opening to find. They are starting off a lot hotter than they did before. And it's just, again, you know, granted, 15 seconds in, can't really talk much on it, but it's not working out as much as they'd like, I'm sure. But more shots coming in from both sides. There's not a whole lot of proper offense. So much making long shots. A nice save from JK off a nice shot. But that one is a miss. Caught up on the side of the goal. Arrow is going to put one in the back of the goal for his team for HCC. That's a good lead early, early on for them. Yeah, that is a huge start to this game. So, so much pressure here. Titanium setting up for that shot. Gonna send it off to Arrow though. Arrow able to uh, at least get that ball moving a little bit farther away. JK trying to play around with it. Setting it up with the defense here from Howard CC is coming out. You see how I feel like Howard CC is pretty consciously playing this a little bit slower now, maybe because of that, you know, that one point lead. If you do play some conscious slow Rocket League, you uh, can leave yourself in a pretty good spot here because you don't, as long as you maintain that lead, you don't got to do nothing else. You don't got to score no more goals here today. But, uh, you know, it's, a, it's still a uh, risky proposition into a, a team that's been so offensively effective as GMU Patriots. Yeah, they are being very consider, or uh, very just conscious and, and very precise with their movements here. So it's uh, been very solid offense from both sides, though, in this first game of the new best of seven. And good defense as well from HCC, something that they struggled a little bit with. Ooh. But it will continue. The onslaught from George Mason evens it up. And that's another goal here for Dev tallying up on his tournament tally. Wow, and now we're to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that defensive, as I was saying, that defensively-minded play with that lead can be uh, a little bit of a, uh, a, a risky proposition against a team that can score uh, as effectively as, as GMU does. We've been seeing some scrambles lately for possession of the ball as well. I mean, both teams are definitely trying to limit the opportunities the other team gets one way or another. Look at that clear off the backboard. Noble was up early for it. Still wasn't high enough. Out of boost, could not make the jump. Dev yeah. taking a moment, getting control, trying to fake out logs and trees so they're not dealing with another shot. Oh, look at another fake out. Dev is all mind games right now. Forget speed. I'm just going to out think him. Yeah, huge, up, uh, huge offense from George Mason. They're really bringing it back and disrupting on defense at the same time. They're hitting everything that they did well in our first series. So that being said, Titanium trying to disrupt as well, doing whatever he can as HCC can't find a break since their early strike. Two minutes of silence from this team outside of a couple of saves. And it's just not working out because Titanium is still on a roll. There was such a back and forth there as far as the possession goes, side of the field, every aspect of the game. And it's finally titanium that breaks up that equilibrium and sends that ball sailing in. Once again, we're looking at this one game lead from GMU. Yeah, they are really uh, just 
I don't know. They're, they're, they're so dominant in this series. They are so strong in this series so far, both in this game now in the new best of seven, as well as the 4-2 that they just took. There's no moment that they're letting up. They're cycling so well and rotating so well around these wall shots and, and wall bounces that, you know, they're catching... Uh, they're catching HCC with no boost in their tanks and they're just forcing them to just respond anyway. So it's so hard for HCC to find anything in these awkward moments that GMU is just prepared for regardless. Yeah, that has definitely been a factor here. I mean, boost uh, has been a major problem for uh, a chunk of this game for HCC. I feel like uh, whereas it seems like GMU has generally been pretty comfortable on their amount of boost remaining. Oh, that ch winning that challenge is huge. This gives Noble an opportunity. He's going up for it. What a angle into the goal there. I don't think that was savable. I, even if you know where that's coming from, I'm not sure if uh, JK could have even been there in time. At that, you would have had to have known so far in advance. There was no way. 2-2 two, two now. An even game, we might just be seeing overtime here. Game one of this bracket reset. Yeah, could be pretty big so far. Now, but we've seen Shenandoah, or, uh, George Mason. I don't know. My brain is so gone that I, I'm mixing up teams again. We've seen George Mason come back from these close ones late on in the game, and they've done very well to keep themselves both out of overtime and in these games. So they're doing it here. They're trying to find their way into at least overtime without giving up a goal, but almost a nice block from Logs is gonna deny the aerial from JK, who now has to recover very quickly. He will indeed before getting demoed out and a nice shot, but a nicer save. And it's put back in though by Arrow, two seconds to go. He puts HCC back up on the board. A nice shot, a nicer save, and a nicest return from Arrow <laughs> right to center net to shut down that that dream of the overtime there. HCC reestablishing their lead in this bracket reset, it looks like. There's still uh, the opportunity here. JK's going for it, but it is going to hit the ground, and it's the 1-0 lead for HCC. The Dragons uh, may have been a little slow to wake here in Grand Finals, but they are up and they are angry and they are ready to play a Rocket League. Yeah, they are ready to go. They're tied. They're up 1-0 yet again. This one was a much closer affair than their first 1-0, though. But still, very good showing to start things off here for HCC. Again, there is no third mystical best of seven there's no weird you know loopholes once a team wins this out there's no like extra chess games or anything win this best of seven and you win grand finals so HCC starting themselves off with a win here is very nice for them because they are just three games closer now to getting that extra money for winning yeah uh, and yeah, I mean that's uh, that's what we're fighting for here, man. I mean second place is uh, still getting a, a decent amount with the uh, I believe 450 of that $1,500 prize pool. But you know, you playing this long, you want a little more than 450 for your trouble. You want as much of that money as you can get. Yeah, for sure. So eyeballing now offense for HCC. We're getting to see them pressure again early on. This is kind of how game one went. They pressured very early on, and then were able to pressure pretty late when things got hectic. And Logs, within the first minute, comes sliding on in with a first goal for HCC yet again, starting things off. Yeah, we are now starting to see the, uh, the tempo that we are a little more familiar with coming out from HCC, taking command of the field and setting up these early goals. Can they keep it up, though? That is the question. Uh, you know, we're seeing that reestablished now, but there's still so long to go. Something else to keep in mind, too. HCC got themselves a nice long break uh, after Grand Finals. 
GMU has had to play <laughs> this whole time. There, there is uh, while we were talking about the burden of stamina here, there is quite a bit more burden stamina wise on GMU at the moment than there is on uh, HCC, and that that could definitely be a factor. That's the benefit of being on winner's side of grand finals. You do get a minute to take it, take the the stress off for a little, and mentally prepare for grands. Yeah, and and that's the thing, you know, the the double edged sword of it is obviously you have to worry about cooling down. Ooh. Is not cooling on down. He's evened things up one on one within the last 45 seconds here. Nice shot from him. Nice little put back on the double block from HCC. That's the thing, though. It's a, uh, you know, we, we mentioned it a little. Granted, George Mason had their break, but they had theirs before their Shenandoah game. So that was over two hours ago. They had their break. Now, right. HCC had a break granted before through like two games plus leading into this one. So it's the double edge of sure you're cold and you're not as warmed up other than, you know, whatever ranked or, or whatever script practice stuff you're doing. But you're still two hours more rested than GMU is who just had to play through a best of seven and an entire other series beforehand. Yeah, which can make a world of difference. A world of difference. Look at Dev going up for it. Noble's going to interrupt that double tap attempt and uh, demo JK on the way out as well. That opens up an opportunity, one that Dev is going to shut down almost immediately. He is off the ceiling for it, trying to find that goal, but Logs and Tree is going to send it out to the pocket. And on top of that, going to maintain control and actually send it up the field here to try to set up some scoring pressure himself. Arrow. Taking the follow-up, it's a little high. Dev sending it off to the side, but this is looking like a dangerous spot here. Logs and Trees narrowly not able to get to the ball in time. Yeah, slowly but surely we are uh, getting it pushed forward. One-to-one -one still with a minute 45 left. Almost just a head-over-head -head flip miss by logs and trees as a nice air ball comes in arrows there to defend the, the ball and now it's just dev against two he's gonna bounce it off but logs is trying to find some recovery a nice denial save from titanium as noble or nuble excuse me is tr almost able to get that one in a serve right back but no it's saved as well by nuble it's back and forth saves and shots save again from george mason the ball is up in the air as Nubel's trying to get something back. I was going to explain that we're stopping the bit about no Nubel being noble, but, you know, I can call out Frump later on. There's just so much going on in this last minute here. Wow, yeah, one minute left. We are still at 1-1. One, one. GMU trying to drive this up the field, but... Not going to happen. There was a double commit there for the save, but save it they did. They sent it way back out. Now Logs and Trees going to try to send it upfield for Arrow to play off of. It's not going to happen, though. This is getting dangerous. HEC has had a couple of whiffs here that have resulted in near uh, shots on goal on the return. they got to really be careful. Uh, careful. The opportunity for that has come and gone already. JK sends it up, and look at this. Logs and Trees is in the goal, but stuck at an awkward backwards angle. And Titanium goes up, finds a beautiful redirect, and there's the fireworks, there's that confetti and the balloons to get that one-point lead. 35 seconds left in the game. Howard CC needs to strike back, and they need to strike back right now. Oh, but maybe they do. Here it is. Trying to get a little bit of air on it, but not quite. 24 seconds left. They still have offensive pressure. Trees sends it off to the side. Titanium trying to clear. It's going to send to the pocket instead. JK turning, trying to get control. Logs and Trees again, staying in permanently on this goal. Keep the pressure going. He's trying to bump a defender as well while Noble is sending it out. But that looks like the break in pressure here that is going to shut down the hope of the tie, shut down the hope of the overtime. One more opportunity. The ball is up. Logs and Trees sends it off the backboard. No GMU able to kill it and solidify the 1-1 in the set. Wow extremely close there on that one and another close 2-1 another close game evened out early on so that being said we are headed into a game three tied 1-1 
not going to be uh, turning anything down just yet in terms of uh, just slowing things down and, and really just sending it one way or the other. But it's going to be uh, quite the series we still got going. Man. Yeah, and Cherish, I got to say, uh, this deep into the bracket, this late at night, my heart can only take so much here. Uh, looks like we have the match on over, underway here, but we uh, our spectators uh, not quite in the uh, spectator booth just yet. Uh, apologies for that, folks. There we go. All right. Here we are, game three. Logs yeah. and trees. Look at, I love logs and trees' uh, tie-dye effects on the car, too, man. Very stylish. He does have a very nice-looking car. All of them do. Um, and uh, I am—I will say, though, oh. as a result of that, I am missing uh, Jonathan's Batmobile, at least. Um, this is a, true. <laughs> cool little, like, the lime green Batmobile that we saw rolling around before was uh, a ton of fun to have on in, but... That being said, things are looking comfortable for you. Oh, oh. Huge demo from Dev is going to knock out Arrow before he can save the shot by JK. And three straight games with a goal before four minutes here, or before a minute has elapsed as uh, GMU now takes the lead. Dev put in some overtime that goal too. Had to make a defense against two attempts back to back on goal two separate players defended them both then got downfield for what should have been you would think would have been a pass receive and instead was just there to demo the only remaining defender as what should have been a ball cleared out of the uh out of a defensive position was instead just a shot directly on goal uh that is a that that is some that's a, that's a heck of a mix-up <laughs> yeah definitely is and it's a. Uh... Quite the solid Ooh, the catch oh arrow striking right back though look at this control so much height on the ball it was coming down at such an angle arrow catches it beautifully maintains control slips past the remaining defender and boom even game yeah even game indeed these teams are very good at evening things up very quickly as trying to bring it back in their favor, Titanium and Dev strike in three seconds flat, it feels like. Already just zipping right past by Nuble, and it's just into the goal. There are no holds barred here tonight. Absolutely everything is on the table. I mean, we're just seeing it. Look, Demo's off the bat right off of the kickoff. Noble's already setting up an aerial on goal. No luck, though. It's going to be sent out. There's no one back to defend. Titanium has a shot. He takes it. Another point on the board. And GMU returns to that two-point lead that they were comfortably sitting at just uh, 20 seconds prior. This is back and forth, man. There's 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 no time to rest. There's there's no time. Okay. To, I mean, you walk away. Imagine you walked away for a second, grab a sandwich or something. Well, the game was 1-1. You come back like, what happened? Yeah. It is, uh... <laughs> I mean, just even being, like, unable to, to answer any message, anything pops up, like, you can't... You just can't. You, Don't you blink. Really Don't focus. even yeah. blink. <laughs> you really just have to sit <laughs> in and, and focus in on this game because... Both sides are just keeping it at 100. JK with a very fast save, but not in time. Nubel with a score is going to start to bring things back to equilibrium as it's now 2-3. to three. That was a really slick save from JK, but Titanium was just not in a place for the recovery shot from Nubel. Man, just back and fourth here in this game three of the bracket reset it could go any direction at this point i i'm not even comfortable making a prediction at this point man it could go anywhere oh my god jk looking for a savage shot not quite able to get the angle but still leaving it uh in position for the rest of his team to follow up dev is out of boost gonna have to retreat titanium in a similar position here and the big boost stolen out from under him too this is a tricky spot to be in this is definitely an opportunity for hcc to make some ground the demo as well. They really want this goal. They want to even this back up. The pass over to Arrow is just a little bit too high. Yep. 
Yeah. We're slowly getting through this one, this game three that is in favor of George Mason. And now, control is back in their favor. They're slowly working and oh, no. put another shot from around the goal. Huge control shot coming on in and bouncing it off the top of Arrow as well. 4-2 goes the scoreline for George Mason. They are definitely in control of their destiny in this game three. That was just truly, truly a disgusting angle. I'm appalled. What a shot. What a shot. Wow. This is just, I, I'm, I'm enjoying that. Like, obviously you can't give up, <laughs> but I'm enjoying that, you know, Regardless of the situation and regardless of the scenario, these two teams are really giving everything in this game. And it's caused the score to inflate to 5-2 to two with a minute to go for George Mason. They are blowing the door off its hinges with this one. And they are keeping things rolling here. Howard CC has stayed in striking range of tying this game up for so long this game. There has been such a struggle for this lead, but it feels like they may have just finally broken, and GMU is just putting point after point on the board. At this point, I think it is pretty much confirmed that GMU will be taking the game here and taking the lead in this set. Yeah, pretty hard to come back from this one and really just make it happen. So, 6-2 to two is a, kind of a bit of an exclamation point on this match and i mean again you know you talk about these kinds of games when you're from the losing side from htc side and you kind of just gotta really you know work back the fundamentals in the end minute of this game try and get what you can obviously try and even things up but you also really just want to stem the bleeding figure out your problems and in this bit of time use it almost like a practice really work at what you can get and it's really nice to see that while hcc would want to play like that george mason is not letting up they're disrupting everything that hcc wants to try and work for they're disrupting and, and not giving hcc any lick of an opportunity at just building any momentum or just trying to comfort themselves or whatever at least logs is going to get a good pass and work into a third goal but 6-3 goes the score of game three and that's just so heavily in favor of G gmu just all over. mark mark my words i know i said i wasn't comfortable making your prediction but mark my words that last goal right there at zero even though it didn't change the outcome of that game was extremely psychologically important for Howard CC, that might just be the morale boost they need going into the rest of this set. That might just be that, hey, we can still keep control of this. All right, this game got away from us, but we can still score. And if we can still score, we can still win game four. We can still win game five. We can still win game six. <laughs> yep, it still is all in the cards here and still all in there. So... We'll get to see, hopefully, because, uh, whoo, I wonder if we still got a, uh, how much, rather, how much Rocket League we still got coming in for us, because, uh, oh, yeah, oh, oh man. Yeah, they, uh, and I, again, I want to, I want to restate, too, this is a 3-1 set in winner's finals. Yeah, in favor uh, of HCC. In favor too. of HCC, but now we had a uh, what was it a four what four two four in two. uh winner side of, or the the winner side of grands and now two one uh on losers on you know on the bracket reset too. I mean they have uh, more than made up for their game total discrepancy over the course of the bracket here, and now I I dare say GMU is uh, looking like the favorite to win it from this position, but the uh, how RCC is going to be uh fighting back every step of the way you can guarantee yeah definitely getting a bit you know competitive and, and it's always been competitive obviously wow jk 
I think it was came. No, sorry, that was a uh, dev came soaring on in there uh, with that one. But you know, all all said and done, nothing comes of the early aggression from these two teams. Perhaps we'll get the first game without a goal before a minute of time elapses. We've got 10 seconds to continue the streak, but this ball is very steadily staying in the back corner there. Oh, just kidding me! We got it! Logs puts it in. Are you... Cherish, are you psychic? Uh, it's, either I'm you psychic. Know. it's either I'm psychic or I'm just really good at caster cursing people. It's always been one of my strengths that... Um, Whenever I say something isn't going to happen on cast, it, like, not always, but it very comfortably does happen. Um, other than saying that these teams strike back very quickly, that always happens. And Dev Which, is uh, up 1-1. They have, in fact, struck back very quickly. And we are 1-1, so we're effectively back at uh effectively back at zero no one has a uh, lead here and and either side has got to make a point here to advance to the next game in the set regardless of how much time uh ticks off that clock so whoo we still got some uh we still got some competition ahead of us to go here yeah look at all are... this look at this scramble in the corner i mean no one wants to even seed ball control for a moment even in the corner it is it, it's it's pretty crazy too i think that we are just like i know you just said it that that these teams are not trying to seed any ball control but both teams are just so aggressive with maintaining this ball control it's not just that they're not willing to seed it they're both so aggressively trying to keep it going because they both rely i mean it's the obvious you know you win the game by controlling the ball but both these teams rely so heavily on continued ball control is the main thing and just continuously kind of realigning the ball early on and, and firing off shot after shot and when oh, these speaking teams of are firing not off shots it, yeah when these teams are not allowed it you can see they both struggle and it, it's been nice to see that gmu has adapted very much more so than hcc in this both these series so far because they are controlling in these short engagements Oh, JK narrowly missing the follow-up there. That would have been a real difficult angle to defend. Titanium's going to center it over the goal post. Dev trying to follow up. They're just trying to keep that ball centered on goal. Dev, oh, what an angle. Not quite there, but JK comes in with that last inch of distance to solidify the 2-1 lead for Patriots. Yeah, very strong lead here. 2-1 with just a couple minutes to go, just over two left here. And we are getting closer and closer to the finale of this series. We still got two minutes to go. This very easily could go to two, but still, I mean, just dominating these, these short engagements. It's uh, just, I don't know. It's all in favor of George Mason so far. and. They are not as dominant in the aerial game as they were before, but still, I mean, even there, they're just lofting up light shots and there's virtually no contest from the side of HCC outside of the goalie blocking it. Wow, man. And I, you're seeing all the shots come out here. I mean, we just saw, uh, we saw a player try to catch the ball on their tires, roof on the ground for that uh that mix up with the flip reset uh just anything and everything you can think of coming out of the back pocket to try to fake out a defender here uh but it still seems like howard is just having a little bit of trouble you know completing the motion and and making the goal here gmu for their credit again like you know they don't necessarily need to make the shot here but they're it's not stopping them from making shots on goal anyways i mean well you know it's more comfortable than a than a 2-1 lead is a 3-1 lead yeah, trying to get that 3-1 is uh, very much I, so where GMU wants I love it. that challenge from Titanium. Backwards, no momentum, but you didn't need... He, he knew. He didn't need to actually like be able to challenge it and take ball control. I just needed to make this shot more difficult. I just needed to make life difficult here for Howard CC. I mean, that's... uh. 
that is a, a brave angle to be making that from, but paying off. Yeah, really good challenge. Oh. A nice demo from Dev. Could very well seal the deal as Arrow is reset back to where his side is. Now, the control still coming in from Logs and Nubal. But oh. he is uh, back in favor of George Mason. The control, the ball is stuck in this little corner. Not downed yet, but George Mason on match point, series point, grand finals point with a 3-1 lead here in the reset games. Oh, man. This is crazy. Wow. Far. Yeah. I mean, now GMU is sitting on set point to take first place from the loser's side of Grands. I mean, they only got to wrap up one more game in their favor. Howard needs to make the three game sweep here to maintain yeah. their first place position. This is a difficult place to be in for sure especially when you were sitting on the winner's side of grands you know you were sitting thinking hey we're favored to win this you know we know we still got to play hard we still got to finish this last set out but it's looking pretty good for us now a few hours later not looking quite as rosy Whew. just a little bit further to go here and the gmu patriots for their you know they they play one more solid game anytime in the next three games and it's over that's all there is. I think it is a. I think it was really funny just then. Um, <laughs> the the reason that everything was so silent was uh, because I was mid sneeze and I I was getting ready for it. And at just the instant I sneezed, uh, you went, "Woo!" So <laughs> it it, just, <laughs> it lined up really well for me in my head, and, and it was really funny in my head. Um, but. Starting things off, we are back to starting off quick. Very fast paced from both teams. They are batting control back and forth with one another off the bat, off the rip rather. And a nice demo, but oh, oh wow, 34 seconds is our fastest so far. I think there might have been one in the first 15, but the fastest I can remember from this set at least. And that is five straight goals before the first minute. I think we can definitely say that the uh, the fatigue might be getting to some people. Yeah, there's uh, there's definitely an element of uh, of draining stamina starting to play a factor here. And man, there's still some lethality too in these players. I mean, to make a goal off the first minute every game so far this set has been, uh, you know, that that takes uh, that's a lot of practice. Some really clean shot taking. Jk. Sends it in, it's another point up, and this is this mountain that Howard has to climb is just getting higher and higher as this game five goes on. I'm sorry, game four, I can't count. No, five, I can't. game five. Yeah, it has been. A, let me tell you, it has been a set. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, quite the set so far. Two zero here to start off gmu just wants to put the nail in the coffin with this one they are ready to end this one to go home give us all a big break here and the side of hcc just can't find any opening is, is the big thing because another shot almost goes into their goal someone has sent up the side of the goal upside down and oh another goal goodness. for GMU. JK averaging 30 seconds. No. Yeah, 30 seconds per goal. Okay, I did the math right. I'm I'm not a goof. But 30 seconds a goal. They're up 3-0 at 330 left. It, it's insane. This this is starting. I, I hesitate to say it. I hesitate to invoke the caster's curse, but as titanium slides another one in to make it 4-0. I dare say this is the point where GMU may have just won the long game here. They may have just come out on top when it comes to pure stamina over these last couple of games, despite the fact that they've had to play through loser's bracket this entire time. But even in spite of that, 
this deep into the night, they are just still playing stronger and harder than HTC is able to keep up with right now. And now when you're four points down with the set on the line and three minutes to go, what do you do? Yep, exactly. It is just, I don't know, you, you need to do the absolute most here for HCC, and it might just be that the exhaustion is getting to them. So, uh, you know, I, I just, two and a half left. They have got to really fire on all cylinders and then some and try and break through. And this could be the goal that starts it off. Nubel with a great shot leading it past the defense is going to do his best to try and re, uh, reinvigorate his team, get them going back into this one and, and really start chugging back ahead. Yeah, Nubel says we may be three points or four, well, three points down now, but we are certainly not out. Not yet. There is game left to play. Yeah, two and a half under, rather two and a half we go. Titanium gets a demo. Demo's back and forth with saves from Nubel as well. But now back in GMU's side, HCC just has to try and do something. And Nubel is just soaring off to the side to try and play defender regardless. Now tr Logs and Trees is back in front of the net doing what he can, but a Splitting shot comes flying through and another goal. This is a schlacking oh. at this point as Titanium puts another one on the board for themselves. At this point, Howard CC is going to have to play the cleanest Rocket League they've ever played in this last minute and 50 seconds to catch this up. This is going to have to be a Herculean effort, not by any means impossible, but uh, it, this is looking nearly insurmountable here. Even with their one point that nubel has been able to uh, squeak onto the board here in this game five, it's just, it's looking pretty grim here, folks. If you're a uh, HCC fan, it's looking like a dark day. Yeah, it is pretty grim here. A minute and a half to go. Down 5-1. HCC has to keep it rocking and rolling. They're doing whatever they can to stem the bleeding. Stop all the goals from coming in. But George Mason must be sitting on their laurels. They are understanding that this one is all but said and done. HCC is just playing defensive at this point. They're not even trying to go after any offensive balls, really. They're just doing what they can. They're getting stopped instantly by George Mason and it, it's just a struggle for them so far to, to really find an opening here and with under a minute to go George Mason has really done the incredible and looked insane doing it in this series at least another goal will go the way of H HCC trying to spark their comeback for the next 30 seconds but it is tough going all right Hear me out. We have seen HCC make some pretty savage goals off kickoff. They can do it three times in a row. This is still doable. We've seen them do it. I don't think we've seen them do it three times in a row. <laughs> Going for the fake kickoff, too. They are absolutely setting up. They know that that is their only win condition. But it looks like GMU was pretty prepared for that as well. They were navigating through it just fine. Still maintaining control. They are uh, pushing into HCC's goal zone now even. And that is a scary place uh, to be here. 10 seconds left on the clock. And this is just about over. It's looking like GMU is going to be your MAEC Capital Division Grand Champions here. With the come from behind victory, the revert, the the, two, the bracket reset, and the four-one wow. sweep after losing in winners finals, it will be the GMU Patriots taking the championships here in the MAEC Rocket League Capital Division. Of course, Howard Community College not going home with nothing either. Second place is still taking home thirty percent of the cut of that prize money, so no one is going home empty-handed here from this grand finals. But I gotta say, what a set, cherish. Did you? Could you have all have predicted that that rally and that change uh, in results from the winners' finals to the grands like that? 
could I have predicted it? Maybe. It would have taken me, you know, relying on HCC playing predominantly, uh, rather, uh, predominantly both teams playing like that game three from the winner's finals where GMU 4 0 and just completely shut out HCC. Um, however, would I have? Did I? No. I thought this was going to be done in the very first set and uh, this was going to be over just like